Does this sound like you? I'm nervous to speak up at work because I don't think people will understand my English. Um, I don't think people will understand what I'm trying to say. I will just confuse people. If that's you, then this video is perfect for you. The most common cause of this fear is your own mind. It's your own anxiety. In your mind, you are making out that this is a huge issue that is 100% guaranteed to go wrong. I have clients who can speak to me for hours hours every week with no issues and still have this fear when they go into professional situations. This shows that it's not a language issue. It's a confidence, it's a mindset issue. Let me compare this to a situation that I've had in the past. I used to be scared of dogs as a child. If I was walking down a narrow path and I saw a dog, I would turn around and avoid the situation completely. I thought the dog was going to kill me or eat me, bite my leg off, whatever. So I thought, this is too much for me. I need to remove myself from this situation. So I, so I would turn around and walk in a different direction. So my anxiety would get the better of me. I would just avoid the situation completely. Now this situation with the dogs would happen once a week, but it's happening to people at work every single day. They are letting their fear get the better of them and avoiding the situation. Whether it's not speaking up in a meeting, not being honest to an employee who isn't pulling their weight, whatever the situation is, anxiety is holding them back. So what did I do about the dogs? I told myself, I need to get past this issue. It's impacting my life too much. So I set myself small targets. First, I walked to within 50 meters. The next time, I walked to within 40 meters and 30 meters and 20 meters and so on and so on. And I kept reducing that until I walked past the dog. And guess what? Nothing happened. I had told myself for all of that time, all of those years, that if I went close to a dog, there would be a disaster. But it actually turns out that nothing bad even happened. And when a dog did come near me and did bark at me and did run towards me, was it anywhere near as bad as I was thinking it would be in my head? Not at all. And the same is true here with speaking up at work. If you set yourself small achievable goals, you will be able to overcome your anxiety and perform to the level you know you can. If you're scared to speak up in meetings, set yourself a target that pushes you out of your comfort zone. Get closer to the dog. Those targets could be agreeing with a colleague who says something that you think is true, asking a question in the meeting, getting involved in the small talk at the start of the meeting, asking how someone's weekend was, putting forward a new idea. Whatever is out of your comfort zone, do it. See what happens. It won't be anywhere near as bad as you're telling yourself it will be. All of these targets are great things to aim towards. Your anxiety won't disappear in a day, but by reducing, 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 and taking small steps towards removing it, your anxiety will disappear over time. Wow, I got so engaged telling you about my traumatic past with dogs. I almost forgot to mention that I offer a 10 week communication program to help you get over issues like this and so much more. If you're interested in hearing more, leave a comment below or send me a DM.